Let's go inside Petco and I'm going to show you how to carefully select fish. Homie going to take advantage of this three day sale and this 20%. See what I can see. You do see some of these stores with some really nice systems. You can always tell how good a store is by how clean the system is kept. La 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 la. Let's look at the fish. First thing I want to look at is how clean the tanks are. Make sure there's no obvious shutdown tanks. See that the fish are pretty healthy. I don't see any that are just dead in the tanks. The colors are nice and vibrant. You definitely want to make sure you don't have any lemons in the tanks that you're going to pick fish out of. Now let's look at the individual fish. The fish are healthy, no egg, no spots, no tiny fins. Sometimes hidden. All the makings of a pretty well kept Petco. Petco is here. Pretty nice selection of little coral frags here too. That's also a good sign that the store is well kept. I almost got distracted and bought this little guy right here. Nice and quick. But let's get back to the subject. Someone say distracted. I can really use this little cleaning station at home. Somebody buy it for me. Please, 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 please. But now let's look at a fish and look at some of the things that you should look out for at Petco. Like fins that are tattered. You want to definitely look at the body, see if there are any protrusions or egg or spots. And also look at the eyes, make sure they're not cloudy or faded or anything of that nature. All of these are the makings of a good fish. Now I will slowly make my way down to the saltwater section, past the neon section, as we get to the saltwater fish. Now I'm not going to buy anything fancy today. Oh, tempted to get this guy right here there are some really nice ones but I'm gonna fight temptation I'm just going to get an ordinary pair of clownfish today although these guys are really healthy I want to look and make sure that the fish are swimming there are no abnormalities in their ability to go up and down these guys were pretty clean they've been in here for a while they're eating and they're pretty healthy here are the guys I'm gonna today I saw a really nice one here I'm gonna get these guys here they're 20% off so I'm gonna get two of them I was very tempted to get a harem but I, I showed some self-restraint and walked out with only two of them and they're looking pretty cool so let's get these guys home and acclimated while you, ha while you have them in the bag you want to take another closer look and make sure that they're not showing any signs of disease or sickness or thin ailments so take a good look all right, I've floated and acclimated them for about 40 minutes. Now I'm against nets, so I like to try to hand remove the fish so that I don't risk them getting jacked up in the net or losing any scales. I know it's kind of creepy, but I've just found that to be a little more comfortable. And I slowly release them into the tank. Kind of gets me up and close and personal with my fish. Now I'm not really worried about quarantining because this cube itself is actually a quarantine tank although I have my one spotted fish in here. My spotted cardinal kind of went hiatus when he seen me messing around with the tank so I'm like happy happy day that these guys can get a little time to themselves without being bullied but where did he go I don't know I'm sure he'll pop up once I leave the tank alone for a while. It's been a while and look who decided to show up. And I know what you're saying, this tank could definitely use a good cleaning, but I'll let these guys get a little comfortable in here before I start fiddling around with it. Uh, one of the reasons I like the clownfish in this tank, because there's so many mushrooms, I don't like anemones, but these guys are so soft and bouncy, it'll give them a good habitat to hopefully uh, get comfortable and maybe even spawn in. I may just add another pair in here. But it's only an 11 gallon cube and we want to Well, that's we it everybody for today. I hope that was helpful. Tried to keep it short and to the point. That is how I like to acclimate my fish. Now, take under consideration you definitely want to quarantine if you're adding fish to an existing system. But as you can see, I have multiple systems and all of them are separated by species or tank parameters. So I hope this helps you out. And I want you to know that 
not all big box stores are the devil but you have to show some judgment when selecting fish and not every store is the same so till next time this is d from brooklyn love peace and hair grease take care of those fish take care of those tanks and be nice to each other see ya look at these guys compared to this cardinal be nice buddy <laughs>